March 31st, 2016. This video shows that the premolar fall, the carnassial tooth, had caused an abscess inside the, the sinus and there was a big swelling on the below the eye. So now this premolar fall, left up left premolar fall had been extracted, you can see there's a big hole there. There's a big hole inside. This is where the pus had come out. The pus had come out from the hole and uh, so there'll be no more swelling below the left eye. You can see this uh, premolar fall was from here originally and uh, the abscess is from the roots which spread to the sinus causing a swelling. The swelling will be here. The swelling was here early on and uh, you'll see the other video and this is due to the fact that the dog did not have dental scaling or check up every two years or one year. Now she's 13 years old and the owner discovered a big swelling here because compared to the other side. Now there's no more swelling, the swelling was here and the pus flowed down from here. The dog was under anesthesia of Tomitol plus ketamine at 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 ml IV followed by isophorin gas at 0.5% uh, maintenance. This dog is quite old as you can see. It's still not waking up yet. A drip was given earlier on. One bottle plus betryl plus tofidin painkiller. And uh, you can still see that uh, this dog is still sleeping. It's still sleeping. And uh, we are waiting for, for her to get up. 0 0.1 ml of, of antecedent has been given about one minute ago. But the dog is still still sleeping. It's getting up soon. And uh, it takes a long time because this is a very old dog, 13 years old. Normal dog will just wake up within one minute. So you have to wait a while, but you can see the eyeball coming up. The eyeball is coming up. There's a blinking reflex. Blinking reflex. And this hidden was given IM, 0.1 ml, to reverse the effect of Domitor, 0.1 ml IV. Normally the dog will start to wake up. You can see the breathing is faster now. And uh, the blinking reflex comes back. The blinking reflex. The eye bond has not rolled further in, further downwards indicating that uh, anesthesia is being uh, reversed. Now you can see the tooth. It's already worn out. Now the dog is going to wake up soon there, you can see there. So for all the dogs, it's best to give a reversal antecedent or reverse sin so that they don't uh, so when when the dog starts to cough we take out the no, no, we take out the endotracheal tube and put there first it's, it's, it's blood we've got blood there, there. Hmm. so the cough will come back and uh, he wakes up so it should be better when the dog Wakes up is better rather than rather than let the dog uh, takes a long time to wake up because it's an old thirteen year old dog. We prepare the the kid for her to to go and to go and uh, recover. Okay, ready. Okay, let's finish here. Yeah. Topaya Vets March 31, 2016, Kanesa 2.
abscess in an old Jack Russell 13 years old female spade after surgery.